Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This is episode 54. I'm Xenogeno Matt and at long last we are finally in a position to go and stop Egil. This is going to be the big fight. So, as a uh, reminder, any time quest that you have, get them done or don't at all <laughs> because they are all going to expire pretty much. At any rate, before we get into it, I've traveled the world a bit, and I've gathered some items from the Collectopedia. So we got Poisonous Coral, Exceedingly Rare Coral that breathes half seawater and half poison water. Gypsum Branch, a branch from the ice tree, sends a beam of light into the sky at night. You get the heavy, ar heavy gear for the nature category there. And Ceres is Cutlass. I got a bunch for Alchemoth. You know, we'll, we'll get into them later, I guess. When you're ready, talk to Mikal. And we're good to go. Is moving. Boy, you! I'm warning you. You better not drop me. You let me go, and you'll be doing sit-ups for the rest of your life. Yes, Colonel. Linnea, I am sorry. For Lady Maynard's will to be realized, I had no choice but to use your body. Even so... Actually, I'm grateful. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. <laughs> Where is Lady Maynard now? Shall I call her? She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. It's an unusual feeling. Two hearts in one body. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into our heart. We each know what the other's thinking, but it's strange. It feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. It's the part that holds Manus' feelings, and I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? But I know how much she cares about this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Maynath is glad that she met you. Yeah, I know. Shook, good news from His Highness. The Allied force retreated in time. Casualties were kept to a minimum. Glad to hear it. That's great news. All areas are being prepared for evacuation. We can only hope they make it. We won't let them down. This is one fight we can't afford to lose. Get up on Ricky, all set! Ricky, bounce some heads! 
We'll go with you. Can't beat strength in numbers. Really? You're a tough old timer. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow us down. Uh, let's see who makes it through the battle. We're here. Everyone ready? Ready. Anytime. Leave it to Hiropon Ricky. <sighs> hey, Shulk. What is it this time? Stop worrying and come on. The Monado isn't at full strength. I don't know if it can beat Egil. You're talking about that apocryph... whatchamacallit thing. Don't worry. He's no match for all of us together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. The core is directly linked to the Apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator, and the Apocrypha field will deactivate, allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. Now you tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. Oh, Shulk, did you hear that? <laughs> Looks like you'll get your wish. Something's not right. What? Egil. He called me Zanza. The same Zanza who devastated Mechonis. What did he mean? He was just trying to get here. I told you before, right? I haven't had any visions lately. Yeah? But I still know, if I concentrate, I feel like something will happen, and it does. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Pull the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. <gasps> what are you on about, Shulk? Stop playing around. Oh. But... How did you do that? I can't work it out. Ever since we came to Mechonis, my abilities have been changing. Why would that happen? If it's true that Zanza used the Monado to lay waste to Mechonis, then... Is it right for me to use it? Is what I'm trying to do really the right thing? Shulk! control of the Monado has always been flawless. It never crossed my mind that this would happen to you, too. Are you sure you're okay? Perhaps you are suffering this much because you put all your energy into fighting the effect of the Apocrypha. Ain't you learnt yet, Shulk? How many times do I have to tell you? If something's up, you've got to spit it out, man. I ain't just talking about visions. I mean, whatever's on your mind. All right? Mm. S sorry. Ryan. Don't go apologizing. 
It's my fault for not noticing. Let's get one thing straight. I've still got your back. Uh, thanks. No. Huh? Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. This wasn't caused by the Apocrypha. It's a completely different kind of power. Shulk. What's happening to me? I know I should be glad we made it this far, but if we don't find the Apocrypha generator soon... Exactly. The fight against Egil's not going to be easy with the Monado in its current state, and we don't know what kind of toll it'll take on Shulk's body. We have to destroy that generator. It's up ahead. Shulk? There's a strong energy coming from up ahead. That has to be it. Really? Yes. Then this is it. Egil's gonna be scrap metal when I'm through with him. Alright. Everyone's with us, but before we go forward, if you head back in junks. There's an optional quest that is completely missable if you don't uh, talk to this person now. You seem really talkative. I heard from Vinaya that there's a weapon production machine here. Do you know what came to mind when I heard that? Stop pretending you don't know what I'm getting at. You can make a weapon, an extraordinarily strong one. If the materials are all ready, just take them to the machine and you can make a weapon for Fiora. A new weapon will come in handy, are you interested? I know you'll like the new weapon. Be careful how you go. So, by the music, you may be able to tell that this is the central factory. But we still can't just freely skip travel places. We're gonna need to walk all the way there to get the weapon for Fiora. It's a good thing I have Quick Step on. Falling there would be certain death. Also, despite what you saw in the previous cutscenes with Agniritha being pretty much destroyed, it's perfectly fine. You can actually go take the uh, the teleporter ring to Agniritha if you need to. That's down there. You can see the, the central factory is way below. We're, we're way up here. And there's the Apocrypha. Hearts Noble. Here's the bridge to Apocrypha. Adorable randomness. I believe that's Ricky getting his last skill. Yep. Dream of money. Improves chance of monsters dropping gold chests. Pretty handy. Heading down here, you can take this teleporter down to the main part of the central factory, and I'll be doing that just to go through the side quest. You might recall seeing this, I believe, when we passed by earlier in the playthrough. Disabling this laser gate, and here we are. Right outside of the face maintenance bay. I mean, I'll definitely take these. I believe I'm still missing a couple collectibles from this area. Oh, not anymore. I guess I picked them all up. Neat. Quite a view, still. So we want to make our way all the way down to where Temporal Gwaine was. That unique... In the uh, the face bay, not face maintenance bay, but like face storage or whatever it's called. There's a couple of ways to get down there. I'm sure I'll find one of them. Oh my gosh, level 70 majestic mo 
Majestic Mordred. Yikes. Okay, um, kind of having second thoughts about going this way, but hopefully it won't notice me. Uh-oh. It's been a good life. Oh my gosh. You know what? Someone else just... Yikes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's that. And here we are back at Bridge to Apocrypha. Alright, well, keep in mind, there's a level 70 unique enemy nearby, so... Be careful. That's fine. I didn't get very far anyway. I was kind of trying to figure out where I was. I feel like the central factory is one area where I'm never quite sure how to navigate. Okay, where am I going? I could just go that way. Ugh. What am I doing? There we go. I was looking I was looking for for that passageway there. Okay. For some reason I kept thinking that the face maintenance bay was to my left. Whereas in reality I had to pass through it. Okay. Now this area looks a lot more familiar. fastest route down there. Okay, so here's the tower boarding gate. You can take that lift up to Agniritha if you need to. Uh, let's see. Do I have... Oh, I am missing one collectible from Agniritha. That's unfortunate. Done, Ben. Yeah, I think this will be the fastest way if I take that. Alley -oop. I didn't know there was a unique enemy here. Okay. I guess we're in a fight. This is taking much longer than I originally thought it would. Okay, we've got it toppled. <laughs> this poor thing can't even get up. In preparation for the fight ahead, I have gone back through every single shop on Bionis, and I've purchased all the art books that I want. I've made sure our, our armor is as good as it can get. Or is, yep, and yeah. I think we're ready. Oh, heal round. Oh, nice. Don't mind if I do. central lift. We could take this down to the main entrance from where we came up from McConnus Field, and then taking that pathway down there 
will lead right down to where I need to be. Forty four angry. Night time, but does night really make a difference when you're in a large machine factory? The only light in here is artificial. Big jump. Big jump. Oh, what? Maybe it's only the Wii version that has the momentum carrying. At least on those. Nothing like falling a few stories, eh, Dunban? A faithful Lancelot is protecting this weapon making area. He's like 10 levels lower than I am. This guy's getting destroyed. <laughs> that, that other unit does not want any of this. He's like, nah, you guys can have him. Just leave me out of this. It's the weapon creation panel. Weapon complete. We've made war blades for Fiora. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And got a lot of experience doing it. Let's see what they are. Uh, ooh. They're better attacking, but less crit. Although that could... Oh, no, I don't have any additional crit. I just have double attack. Hmm. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll just put two of those on. Oh, wait. For those wondering what they look like, it is... Is it these? Maybe not. Oh, no, maybe it is. Let me look. Which ones are these? These Karma Blades. Are these the ones that have the fire on them? Oh, no, these are like... Like lightsabers. There's some that have fire on them. I thought those were the war blades. Mass produced face. Here we go. Temporal Gwaine. Let's take him out. Wow, he is still aggroed on me. There we go. Starting this off, I'm gonna break him, I'm gonna topple him, I'm gonna topple him. He's got a topple spike. <laughs> okay. Yikes. I didn't realize that a faced mech on could have a topple spike. So I'll just heal Dumb Ban. Oh, right, they're not attacking. I'm like, why? Is it, wh where are all like the audio quotes for, <laughs> for fighting? Wild crash, that's gonna hurt. Alright, let's finish it off. Good job, 
Well, all's well that ends well. I think I'm actually going to end things off here, and next time I resume I'll be on the bridge to Apocrypha, ready to go fight Egil. Um, it would take me a long time to walk back, and we're already at 25 minutes, and the fight is going to be long. So yeah, see you next time.